My friends, it's so crucial, so important that you dig deep to find a source of power within yourself. Nothing internally or externally will be accomplished, whether it's of the nature of healing, creating, relating, imagining, meditating. None of these things will happen if there's not at least a baseline level of confidence, a baseline level of feeling a connection to something that's sourceful, to something that feels powerful, to something that feels like it's bigger than just your body and your mind. So I encourage you to look for this in the right place. And what's not the right place is your negative thoughts that are observing this physical reality. There's very, very little things in physical reality that in the way that they currently are, reflect to us a sense of power. You got to look deeper. You can look at physical reality to sort of connect to that source of power. But in order to do that, you've got to be a little bit creative. In that case, if you want to use your everyday life as a source of confidence and power and empowerment, you'd need to be creative in the following sense. You have to look beyond the surface of things. You have to not just label it as most people label it. Instead of looking at the things as they are, as no most people would say they are, you have to look at things as they actually are, which is opposite of what most people think life actually is like, and things are actually like, and objects are actually like. I'll give you an example. A normal human way of reflecting the state of affairs of what is, of what's presently manifest, what's presently, presently physical, is, oh, I've got to pay the bills, and uh, you know, my neighbor has cut his lawn, hasn't cut his lawn in like three weeks, and it, it just looks outrageous compared to my lawn and the rest of the neighborhood. And I want to go over there and say something, but, you know, it's one simple example of reflecting what is. You're reflecting the fact that the grass hasn't been trimmed in three weeks, and you're reflecting the observational fact that the rest of the neighborhood does do that, and this one is standing out like a sore thumb, and he's your neighbor. You know, you feel the responsibility to say something and all that. Anyway, a silly example, but you get the point. It's, it's a reflection of physical manifestation as it is. Now, that's not a good way to uh, connect yourself to this deeper power within. If you want to use physical life as it is, you got to sort of look to the stars, if you will. You got to look to the blades of grass and what, what powers them. You got to look beyond the surface and seek for that power that makes everything grow, that makes everything revolve around the sun, that makes everything happen in perfect timing, that makes the flower grow the way it grows, and that makes the bird know exactly how to turn its wing in order to make this perfect turn in the sky. That which enables you to see, to hear, that which allows your heart to beat every single second. If you're reflecting reality's intelligence beyond the level of service level labels, then you can use physical reality as a power source that will make you feel powerful, that will make you feel reconnected to that source of that intelligence. But any other way than that, physical reality is quite useless in order to help you grab a uh, hold of this inner power that transcends all these petty-minded thoughts that you have on a day-to-day -day basis conditioned by the people around you. That level of confidence, which is no confidence or very low confidence, will not allow anything internally or externally to be accomplished, whether it be of the nature of healing, relationship, meditation, manifestation, uh, fulfillment of your dreams, the living of your calling, the purification of self, whatever it may be. Everything needs a power source, and this power source is you. And you only operate in alignment with infinite intelligence when you are, in fact, in alignment with infinite intelligence. When you feel in alignment with infinite intelligence, then you start acting as a vessel for infinite intelligence. But this requires a source of power, a source of connection that then gives rise to a confidence that's not an arrogance. That's a humility. Humility, true humility is confidence. True confidence is humility. False humility is arrogance, and arrogance is false humility sometimes. So instead of using the physical world, then, you have to look for subtler things. And depending on your level of consciousness and focus and what your kind of yogic practice has been or your meditation practice or how long you've been following my work, if you've been just kind of 
watching a couple YouTube videos or if you've really uh, deep dived in some of my sort of more advanced teachings. So depending a little bit on where you're at and what you're comfortable with, you've got to find a realm of thinking or observing or perspective that connects you to this power most powerfully, that connects you to this source that makes everything happen most powerfully. And if you're able to do that using subtle thoughts, subtle perspectives, such as, uh, you know, at least as a minimum basis, it's like everything is working out, everything is okay, everything is perfect the way that it is. That should be the neutral baseline, ultimately. If you don't have that established yet, you want to practice this a lot, okay? You want to tell yourself, everything is perfect the way that it is. I trust in the power that makes all this happen. I trust in the timing of the power that makes all this happen. I trust in the intelligence that gave birth to my body. I trust in the intelligence that's making trillions and trillions of activities happen so effortlessly without my conscious control right now. You want that to be your baseline so that you have a, at least a neutral baseline of acceptance slash even a little bit of optimism and looking towards that source of power, beginning to connect to that source of power. And so this is a way of doing it. It's just talking to yourself, talking yourself into ever deeper, more convinced states of being connected to that inner confidence, that true power, that inexhaustible strength. And that's also where faith comes from, ultimately. Um, and that's also where faith leads to. So if you have faith, like say shit hits the fan in your circumstantial life, if you practice faith, if you, if you hold on to that inner thought, that remembrance, that you remember that whatever it is that is happening, it's not happening to you, it's just happening, if anything, it's happening for you. And it's happening with an intelligence and with a love behind it that is hard to describe. And if you just hold on to that faith that things are happening the way they should be happening right now, and I'm learning from this, and this is perfect for something that I'm currently not seeing, but I have faith that it is perfect for something that I'm currently not seeing. And I believe that I will, if I hold on to this faith, see what this is good for. And I will learn from it, and I will use it to my advantage. Then this faith, especially in the more... Um, Challenging times will lead you to this greater confidence once again, this source of power. Again, without power source, nothing happens, right? You can't turn on the light without a source of power. Nothing about this is different than in your physical life, in your mental life, your spiritual life, your meditation life. All that needs power. It needs the power of attention, the power of desire, the power of interest. It needs the power of conviction, the power of confidence, the power of faith. Without these qualities, without these qualities to connect you to this intelligence that you already are, nothing much will happen. So find the way that's most conducive to you every day upon waking up and throughout the day to awaken this inner power in you, this, this sense of confidence that transcends sort of man-made humility, like, oh, we should all just stay really small and we should all be really careful around each other and we should, we should make sure that we don't stand out of the crowd and that kind of stuff is false humility and it comes from insecurity, which gives rise to arrogance. Then you get your neighbors judging you because you're standing out above the crowd. And how is their judgment humility? It's not. How is your freedom to explore and express yourself exactly as you want to? Having not a single judgment of your neighbors, how is that arrogant? It's not. It's just confident, right? So we want to get this shift from arrogance to confidence, from insecurity to humility. We want to get it right. And happiness will get it right. If you find a source within yourself that brings you happiness, you will get this shift right. And so then your life really begins to take off internally, externally, in between, above, beyond, below, upside down, what have you. All, the, all dimensions of your life, of your experience of yourself will take off because you're connected to this power source, this power source that's already present here. But it's simply obscured by negative thoughts, that's all. It's simply obscured by assumptions, belief systems, and by you so incessantly reflecting in a limited way the state of what is when you look at physical life. So don't look at physical life too much. Don't be too present in that sense. Don't be too mindful of what is in terms of what you've called it. In fact, or instead, be present of the intelligence that makes everything appear the way it does. Look beyond the surface. Look beneath the surface. That's one way. And again, another way is to just talk yourself into the state of confidence, the state of faith. 
And then that faith will take you higher and higher and higher. And naturally, this inner power source will elevate you. It will elevate your spirits. It will empower your body, your mind, your inspirations, your meditations, and all that. You will gain more fuel, more power source. More of this power is then allowed into your experience by you. So you want to become a transparent window into this infinite source of intelligent power. You want to let it flow. You want to let it rip. You want to be out of your own way so that you can witness and experience the most enjoyable and deepening and accelerated ride of your life. 